Fellas, let's cover these dumbass NFL players first. <laughs> Let me give y'all the rundown of what these fools was doing. Check this out. Two NFL players are wanted by police now. Seven Street Benita is reporting from the Broward County Jail with this rough robbery. Two NFL players are wanted by police in South Florida after both are accused of armed robbery and getting away with thousands of dollars in cash and thousands more worth of jewelry. Authorities say DeAndre Baker of the New York Giants and Quinton Dunbar of the Seattle Seahawks are both facing serious charges after a Wednesday night party in Miramar where witnesses say things took a frightening turn and the players started robbing guests at gunpoint. According to the arrest affidavit, one person said Baker pointed a gun at him and he was in fear for his life. Adding Quinton Desheen Dunbar was assisting Baker in taking the money and valuables from attendees. Another witness said Baker directed a third person involved who was wearing a mask to shoot him, saying the person wearing the red mask robbed him of $7,000 in cash and stole his watch valued at $25,000. Cops say no shots were fired and the men got away with more than $12,000 in cash and watches worth more than $60,000. What better fit? Now, on the same day of the alleged robbery, that was Dunbar speaking about his excitement about the upcoming season. Their defense is who I am. I mean, I'm their ideal corner as far as measurables on type of, you know, the type of mentality I have. And the NFL saying it is aware of the incident, but they're not making any further comment. <laughs> Where do I begin with? First of all, to crystallize the story, they had a card game, lost 70 grand. They decide they want to be Jack boys, come back with no mask on in their Lamborghini, in their Mercedes. Then they have one dude come in there with the mask on who pulled up in another high dollar car. I thought a robbery is supposed to be something where you get in, you get out, and people don't know who you are. Clearly, if I go to Greenville, North Carolina with my YouTube channel, clearly, and I decide to go run up in somebody's house who beat me out of my gambling money and I robbed them, they're gonna know who I am. I'm Lamont on YouTube that drives a Tesla. Fellas, <laughs> T-Stream, this is your story. Help <laughs> me out. Both Man. players just signed multi-million dollar contracts. You lose 70 grand, but you wanna go back and try to rob folks to get 70,000. Drop some knowledge on me, brother, because from where I come <laughs> from, we if I lose $50 in pity pack, I ain't about to go back and rob nobody. Yeah. And this, you know, <clears throat> I can't even I, I can't even put knowledge in the same sentence with this because this was straight foolery. Okay? <laughs> this this is the, this is one of the, the, the prime. This is the prime definition of you can take the Negro out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the Negro. Damn. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You know, Jeez. Lord have mercy. I Lord. mean. They straight reverted to, to natural basic hood instincts 101 when they totally, when they totally should have been far removed from that. Okay, you guys were millions of dollars, millions, and you crying over 70 racks. You shouldn't have been gambling. If you, if you was gonna have that type of response, you should not have been gambling. Now, here's the thing, they didn't went there they done went there and they done stuck these guys up at gunpoint in style, okay? So it's, it's really nothing much too different from what they did from what OJ did. Pretty much. So so pretty much what they really did was just gambled their whole careers away. They, they basically just gambled their whole careers away. Now, are they going to wiggle up out of it? I don't know, because all we see from the news is that they want it by the police. Well, it ain't like they hard to find. Uh, you know, somebody in my hood, if, if, if the police know where they at and they want it for armed robbery, they coming for you. Mm -hmm. all right? Maybe it's just a little bit different because of their social status or something like that. But this is straight BS, all right? And th this is why folks don't like to see us make it because we can't lead a hood and do right, man. We're going to change their names to I can't get right one and I can't get right two. <laughs> we, we, also got a, we also got a name, the buffoon that they hired to put on a mask and come in and rob. And then he drove a high dollar car when you know he's probably associated with them. Larry, it's your turn. I got to give this to you. When is the last time you've seen such tomfoolery? 
man, it, unfortunately, it seems to happen often, but one of a few things. One, why in the hell are you having a card game when you should be social distancing yourself anyway? Ooh. You know? And, and two, why in the hell did you not just take your loss? It, I mean, here's a couple things for me personally, because I'm not a baller like that. If I sit down at a card table and the dude next to me is wearing a Hublot, I'm out. I can't I can't afford to sit down and play cards with anybody who has a watch that cost a down payment on a house. I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. So nice to see you. I'll go grab a beer and sit over there and chill with the chicks, you know, because I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not playing cards with dudes wearing twenty five thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar watches It's too much. Anyway. It's just, it's just dumb. It, you know, I really, it feels like these dudes are young. They're not used to having money and they haven't, they, it's for whatever reason, they lost this money and it just didn't occur to them. Oh yeah, I'm going to have this much again next week or next month. They don't have to go and worry about losing 50 G or 60 or 70 G. They can just be like, yeah, okay, I lost it. Lesson learned and you move on. I mean, for them, losing 70 G is like me losing a thousand. It hurts a little bit, but you you just take the lesson and you move on. You now, know? fellas, do you guys think that they will be able to come back from this? I personally think that somehow, some way, they're going to be able to overcome it. But this should be a moment where their 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 NFL career is flashing in front of their eyes because something like this could ruin a very very enriched life because you lost your consciousness for a split second. Do you guys think they can come back? Man, <clears throat> you know, the, the way things operate now, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, man. Okay. Uh, Larry. It depends on who they were playing with. If they were playing with brothers, then it, they might be able to make it back because you might have, you might have their version of, of Ray Donovan, pay him a visit deliver a duffel bag to them and say look they were dumb they were stupid they felt like you guys cheated them maybe they were just you know maybe they had too much to drink when they were there you know he goes and delivers them a little duffel bag i don't know man if he was playing, if, if if they was playing with brothers if that was playing with brothers when i would go home to play card games at least one or two brothers in there was strapped yeah. now they very lucky <laughs> and when i say lucky they very lucky that it won't no brothers in their strap or somebody that had to go to the heavy Chevy and pop the trunk. Yeah, because right. when, when you when you playing with when you playing with those kind of numbers, I mean, hell, granted, all of us was you know, well, me personally, you know, being from you know being right here, born in the hood and raised in the hood, you know, people then been killed for twenty dollars at a car. Right. So you, you're talking about something exponentially over. Now, the the one thing that I don't like is that the you know and and believe me, I'm not hating. You know, I, I'm not I'm not a hater. Uh, but if I did that, if I did that, you see what I'm saying? My ass is gone. <laughs> you know, I'm out. I'm out of there. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't be on the news. You would no. just be locked up in cell block COVID. Yeah. You know? So, I mean. and then you know, then they, and then they they hit your man's OJ up, you know. And I use him for an example, just you know, just because you know, OJ got off on that murder, and they they wanted him on something. Mm -hmm. They wanted him to do do something, so they find a way. They they find a way to finesse it and and penalize him severely, you know, you know, for that. But in this regard, man, they may get they may get off. But at the at the very least, at the very least, like you said, man, their careers, their careers should be flashing like brightly mm -hmm. in front of your eyes right now as a rude awakening. If if the man called NFL decide that that these young boys are not worthy and mm -hmm. they're a liability to them. You can't be out there robbing no. folks, man, and you work millions to a franchise. No. Hell no, it ain't. It don't work like that. Yeah, you you know what you know what I'm, I'm thinking too because of all this COVID stuff that's going on. We may not even be looking at a full season of the NFL if we get one, anyways. You know, depending on how things go, they might just say, you know what, there's no need to really deal with this. 
Oh, we're going to no. have a whole new crop of draftees coming in nope. that we can that we can choose from. We don't even need to deal with this. Let's just cut them loose. Larry. Let's release them, and we'll go find somebody else. I mean, okay. I, I mean, okay, yeah, yeah. Personally, for me, if I was if I was a team owner, I would just I would you know I would sit down with the guys to find out what the real story is. If it is exactly what it, what the news is reporting, if it is, then. I would have to be like, look, man, sorry, but deuces, you're out. If it if it turned out that it was something more to it, like the dudes were like the dudes got robbed inside the, the house and they basically went and got their guns so that they can rob and get their own stuff back, that's a different story. Then it's some dumbness that went down, but then there's more to it at that point. But if it is simply they played cards that they lost and now they're salty, I mean, I'm gonna I'm cutting them. Book them well, down. There's no room in my organization for that. There's too many people out there that are talented that want this opportunity and will respect this opportunity. And I don't need you. I don't need you up here, you know, tainting the name of my, you know, my brand, and and you know, and, and just basically causing havoc. That sort of attitude is pervasive when you when it gets in the locker room. You just don't need that around your team. I'm going to table this one by saying that one guy was a rookie and just signed for like ten million dollars. So if you cut him, he's still going to w- walk away with two or $3 million. At the end of the day, people with great power comes great responsibility. The wise man that said that, Stanley. 